Hello everybody, it's finally here, the wonderful month of Ramadan. I'm so excited to get this month underway, especially since I get to spend so much time with my family and we get to pray together, we get to eat together, and you know, outside of Ramadan, it's hard for us all to be together all the time, but this month really allows and affords us that opportunity. So it's my first day. I fasted uh, this morning. I got up super early at 4.15. A oatmeal, a half a bagel, one hard boiled egg, a cup of tea, and a glass of water. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. It feels great. Not hungry at all. Love it. And I can't wait for breaking my fast later. The month of Ramadan is such a special month. It's the month in which the Holy Quran was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad and who be peace. My goal this month, amongst other things, is to memorize the 99 names of Allah. If I do three a day for 30 days, that'll be my 99. This morning, my first three were Allah, which is mentioned many times in the Quran, Arab, which is mentioned in Surah Al-Fatiha, amongst many others, and Wahid or Ahad which is mentioned in Surah Al-Ikhlas, Kulhu Allahu Ahad. I hope that you can memorize these names along with me. Enjoy my videos. If you like them, please subscribe and share. So for our first iftar dinner, we have duck curry and rice on the menu with a salad. We're also going to have some small fish cakes I'm gonna be making with salmon to break our fast with a date and some water. We're gonna have some tea and I'll uh, make a small cake for dessert. Let's start cooking. All right, for my duck curry, I already went ahead and sliced up a half of an onion. It's not a lot of duck. It's only like a three or four pound duck. Remember, I don't eat any meat and it's just basically my kids that's gonna eat it. My husband might have a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and take some garlic, about um, seven or eight cloves of garlic. And don't forget the pepper, I love peppers. And I'm gonna take these peppers with the garlic. I'm gonna grind it up in my blender. I'm gonna put in a half of a tomato, chopped, rough chopped, but I'll go ahead and show you how I'm gonna do that as well. So let's go ahead and cut up our tomatoes. I'll save this cucumber for later. And as always, have a garbage bowl ready and waiting. I went ahead and added the peppers and the garlic and a couple of uh, celery leaves into this, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick nuke and blend it up. This is a duck that I had already washed and seasoned yesterday. I left it in the refrigerator overnight. I seasoned it up with a little bit of salt and black pepper and let it kind of marinate a little bit in there. And now I'm gonna uh, start to cook it. I'm gonna go ahead and add, this is my curry powder that I use, Lala's curry powder. I'm going to add about one teaspoon and a half into here. Then I'm going to add some, mm, it smells so good, jeera, about one teaspoon, another teaspoon of masala and turmeric, about a teaspoon of turmeric. I just love the uh, color that turmeric gives to the curries. So with that, I'm gonna just drizzle in a pinch of salt into there. And this is my grind up seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of this in and make a paste out of this curry mixture. And that is going to be the base of my curry, which I'm going to add in when I add the onions. So look at that, it looks so nice already. And with the peppers that's all ground up in here and the garlic, it smells really, really good. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some, this is actually grapeseed oil. I cook with lots of different oils, avocado oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, you know, pretty much any oil that's really good for high heat content and healthy for you. So I'm going to go ahead and heat that up. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm going to put my pot on so that I can um, start to uh, boil the water for the rice. That's what I have to do. I almost forgot that. So the water is going to go ahead and heat up in here and I'm going to throw about two cups of rice in. Um, yeah, it's not too much because it's just a couple of us eating. I know normally when we go to the mosque, there's like so much food. That's all filled up and we're going to go ahead and make sure that we turn it on and put that up to boil. I'm going to go ahead and add my onions into here. Let those onions saute up really nice and get a nice uh, little uh, caramelization going, saute them up really well. And as usual, I like to put salt into my onions. I think that it kind of releases the flavors and 
lets the onions sweat a little bit more. So go ahead and saute that down. Onions are getting nice and softened up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the curry paste and add that in. Mm, it smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in with the onions and let that cook down a little. The spices have to cook so that the flavors can be released from them, especially with that garlic and the peppers that I blended in there. It's gonna be yummy. That's what it looks like. Getting nice and cooked, fried up a little bit. I always like to add tomatoes for some reason into my curry. I feel like the tomatoes make it get a little bit of a nice flavor and texture also, definitely a really good texture. I'm gonna lower my stove a little, I think it's a little too, too high, but it's cooking really nice and I smell it, it smells really good. I can smell the pepper coming out of that. Definitely smell that pepper. I did save this pepper, look at that one. I saved that one so I can throw it in whole so if my daughter Layla wants to eat it, she can have that. All right, so here's the duck. We're gonna go ahead and add the duck into here. Just throw it all in. It's not that much, like I said, we're a small family. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cover and put that on top for a little bit. The water for the rice is already boiled. I went ahead and added a little uh, pinch of salt into the water. This is about two cups of rice that I washed and uh, it dried a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a little bit of a stir so that the rice doesn't stick on the bottom. This is jasmine rice, by the way. It's the only rice I prefer to use. And I'm gonna go ahead and also lower my stove down to the lowest setting. In about 15 minutes, I'll check this. I won't stir it again because I don't wanna, you know, I won't stir it again because what happens is you kind of interrupt the starch in there. I don't want it to get all starchy. While my curry and my rice are cooking, I'm going to cut up the cucumber into thin slices. It's a small baby cucumber, not too many of us to eat it. So I don't want anything left over, especially during this month. You don't really want leftovers because nobody's really eating anything, right? So just a couple of cu uh, slices of small cucumber going into here. And to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of sauce. I'm gonna give a squeeze of a half of a lemon and pepper sauce. Love me some pepper sauce. I pretty much love pepper with everything, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle on some salt onto here, not too much. Add a little bit of pepper sauce, a little, uh, a little bit more. Um, this is Bertie's pepper sauce. It's a Trinidadian pepper sauce. It's actually really good, very flavorful. I'm gonna cut half of a lime. and squirt it in here. Put all the juices in here. Ooh, 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 that smells yummy. Also, I'm gonna add in a little bit of uh, arugula. Arugula is really good with this because it's got like a peppery flavor to it and I think it's yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. Give it a little bit of a mix. And this will be a great a compliment to the duck curry. Oh, some runaway arugula. Voila! So to break our fast, I have uh, about one pound of wild salmon. I chopped up some red bell peppers, uh, the mini ones, the sweet bell peppers. Some of the, I chopped up one small red and one small orange. I have some celery leaves here that I'm going to add into here. Just give it a rough chop and that'll get all mixed in. Okay, then I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika, some chili powder, garlic powder, a little bit more than a quarter teaspoon, 
black pepper. I like to add turmeric in because I think when I make these fish cakes, turmeric actually gives it a nice color. So I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of turmeric and of course, another small pinch of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. I'm gonna add some mayo to it and I'm gonna coat it with some panko and fry it in a pan. So I'll show you how I do that as well. Let me just grab some mayo. I went ahead added and added some panko into here and I'm forming the little fish cakes into a little bit of a fish ball actually. So I'm just rounding them off and putting them in there and they smell really good actually. So I think I'm gonna get about 16, maybe 17 fish balls out of the one pound of wild salmon that I used. So I just go ahead and round it off like this and add it to the bowl, swirl it around, just not to disturb the shape too much and drizzle the panko over. And that's it. And that's how you get a perfect fish ball. Let's take a look at the curry, see what it looks like. It's bubbling away and let out some water. So that's water got to reduce down. And once it does, we're going to get a lovely curry. About another 15 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. I added some grapeseed oil to a nonstick frying pan and it's all heated up now. And I'm going to go ahead and add these small little fish cakes to it and it's gonna sizzle away and once it browns on either side, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. I try not to crowd the pan up too much because you wanna make sure that you give it enough room to cook. I went ahead and flipped um, most of these and it's got a beautiful color, golden brown, gorgeous color. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it does the same thing on this side and then I'll take it off. It only takes a couple of minutes, about two, three minutes on each side. I just wanted to come outside and get some fresh air. It actually is so beautiful out. Look at how beautiful my trees have blossomed. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, these had zero leaves on them, but they've got these beautiful pink flowers. Look how gorgeous they are. And it just looks phenomenal. This just kind of puts me in the mood because the weather is getting better. It's Ramadan month and it's just a glorious day outside. Well, there the sun goes. It's about to set in about just um, about an hour or so and we will be breaking our fast. Happy Ramadan. Happy Ramadan, Santa. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Got our table all set and ready and waiting for a time to break fast. It's just a couple minutes to go. The sun is pretty, pretty much almost set. So here is our dinner and I was going to bake a cake, but Layla wanted to make cookies. So she made some cookies up there. We've got our rice, our salad, our fish cakes to go ahead and break fast with. And I really hope that curry came out well for the kids and a couple of dates. And for drinks, we've got some sparkling water and regular water that I just like to infuse with my Hi. with my lemon rind. And we've got tea for Asif and I to break our fast. And we're looking forward to having this gorgeous dinner tonight. And I hope that you enjoy your first iftar, just like I plan on doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy your iftar tonight. And if you like this video, look forward to the others I'll be posting this month. Please like, share, and subscribe. And again, happy Ramadan. Take care.